quests. It can't be. Can't be. What are you doing? Ah, no. I swear I didn't do anything. Please don't hurt me. What are you talking about? Why would we want to hurt you? I don't know. Let us not know what that you won't really hurt me. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, I've got it. Must be because I discovered your secret, right? I, I took the newspaper with your secret letter hidden inside it in the coffee shop. Or because I accidentally discovered your passphrase. Wait a moment. Could it be that the fish I ate last night? I said the reason that the fish had so few bones is because you already deboned that fish? Yes, yes, you wish to use the difference in the number of bones in each fish to send a message. But I accidentally bought this one and brought it back home with me. What the heck is this guy talking about? <clears throat> I'm gonna make heads or tails of it. I won't hurt you. It, you really aren't out to hurt me? What's with you? We've only just met you. Why would we want to hurt you? Really? I'm glad, and I'm really, so, I'm really sorry. How embarrassing. I've been working hard on the detective novel recently, but I still don't know what methodology that the criminal should use to commit their crime. Because I'm always over overthinking things, so... Now when I look at anything, my first reaction is to consider how it could be used to, you know, commit crimes. <sighs> That's why I was so nervous just now. Truly, I'm sorry. Maybe I have become what they call paranoid now. I was about to ride the Acrobus into the city for a cup of coffee, and when I saw Acrobus running, I, I immediately saw countless possibilities, all the ways I could be killed on an Acrobus. I simply didn't dare to board. <sighs> There's no way that happened. Stop overthinking things. That may be so, but I simply cannot stop thinking about it. And the more I think, the more afraid I become. I escort you there. Really? Amazing. But what if people who want to hurt me hurt you too? Just try to relax. Come on, come on, stop overthinking it. No matter what the problem is, then we'll try and handle it. Easy peasy. The acrobus is just over there. We'll bolt together in a bit. Sure. Hey, why are you crouching on the ground holding your head? Did you hit your head on so or something? There isn't anything here to hit your head on. Shh! Get over here! Lie down next to me. It's dangerous here. Here we go again. This acrobus doesn't have any kind of barrier on top. If you place two poles on either side and run the fishing line between them, then when the acrobus passes through, the fishing line will suddenly become a knife that. Ah, uh, stop. Don't say it anymore. No, no, you don't even need two poles. One would be enough. Gee, and if you hung up some fishing line on it, with the hook just dangling there, then the people in the acrobus would naturally be hooked and left hanging in the air and then... Not listening, not listening, not listening. The problem is not listening. La, 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 la. <laughs> I felt listening to, the, to her this whole time. Even Paimon's getting kind of scared. Let's get out the acrobus as soon as we are at the station, alright? We carefully disembark from the sheep. From the sheep. From the ship. With Gri Grijaro. And Grijaro, yeah. And carefully. Emphasis on cheerfully disembark. Phew, 
Nothing happened. I'm still alive. Wonderful. Of course we're fine. You said it was all your paranoia. No, we still have not yet reached our destination. It's far too early for such confusion. What if... No. I'm sorry, just in case. This is I tell you. Again, there's nothing around here. Don't you see that gather match? It's right in front of us. Uh, and shh, quick, get out of there. What if it goes out of control? Or maybe it's its power core suddenly explode, or someone controlling it remotely will use it to attack us. It's completely normal to me. That is exactly what makes me so scared. A match that is operating normally suddenly losing control. And some poor unfortunate soap. Soap suddenly losing their life. Nobody would even be held responsible for such a thing. Perhaps the true culprit would never be found. Simply too dangerous. It already left, so you can come out now. Phew, you can go out of control. Truly inspected. Our lives have been spared yet again. Um. <laughs> uh, that kind of accident just isn't possible. What I was thinking of was more of an intentional accident. Intentional? Criminal events without a culprit. A crime that no individual will be held solely responsible for. That's it. Inspiration has struck. Quickly, quickly, to the cafe. I must write this down. What is with this girl? Hey, slow down. Aren't you worried someone that toss a rock and trip you up or something? He's uh, determined to go to the cafe. That's, uh, that's pretty good. This. Finished uh, drinking. Oh, thank you, Mo. And thank you for escorting me here. You say escort, but all we did was walk with you here. We didn't do anything. Uh, you have nothing bad happened, and you chanted no danger. Yes, it appears I really was overthinking it. Uh huh. This coffee is really great. <sighs> so. So do you think it's poisoned? <laughs> um, these are my thoughts exactly right now. Stop seeing that kind of baloney. We finished drinking already and we're fine, right? No, 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 no. Perhaps it is a, a special sort of poisoning. First, the poison emits a kind of medicine into our coffee. Drinking that medicine alone will have no effect whatsoever on the victim. 
After we have finished up this old poison drinks and gone home, the poisoner will follow us. And as we sleep, he will enter our room and mix a second kind of medicine to your water bottle. The next day, after you are out and about, you'll take a drink from your water bottle, and the two medicines will mix and react within your body. And then we'll... The sound of hurried footsteps suddenly draws near. Wait. Our way. Uh, church Catholic it is. Yep. Our way. Uh, my dear customer, well, just what are you saying? Coffee? Oh. So, so it's like because she's because she's saying this out loud, uh, <laughs> she's giving a bad rep for his cafe in front of all the other customers. Coffee? Poisoned? Please do not make such jests, such jests in my establishment. Should your japes affect the other customers, I shall have to ask you to leave. Grishar apologizes to Ara in the panic and explains her situation. But by way of apology, Grishar buys another three chop three, three chops of coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, you watched him make the coffee this time. There's no way there could be a problem with it. Stop imagining things. I know, I know, but I did find a lot of inspirations along the way. If I just put it all together, I'm sure I can think of how the perfect crime, one that leaves no trace, should be committed. After I finish writing the book, I'll be sure to send you a copy. Before that, let me finish this cup of coffee. This cup of coffee. Uh, Remo, do you think is it at all possible? Shut it. Did this cup itself have no have poison on it? So now it's a cup. Oh my god, was it was. Ah, uh, okay. Danger lurks everywhere in Fontaine. Uh, Aoi? Aoi? Uh, I, I'm so sorry for her behavior. I... Stop looking at the notice board. Trust her. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for the, the behavior of, uh, of Bushara. Uh, apparently she's a bit too stuck on the head. You know. Crazy ideas, Wherever uh, chilly world, stuff. I, know. I yeah. carry memories of my home. But then again, this blade. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. 